So I just got like a minute into this recording to realize that my webcam actually froze. So here's the hoping that this time it actually works out. At least I noticed before I went an entire recording session to find out afterwards because I would have been so pissed. I only wasted about a minute of my time. Anyways, what's going on guys? You're in with Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, we went to the not so distortion world but somewhat resembled a distortion world area known as... Known as Space... Something space the wheat Rees domain we'll just go with that and we fought palkia actually beat him when i thought it was going to be a pretty tough battle and we got an invitation to enter palkia's nightmares after he was suddenly put to sleep so without any further delay let's see what happens in palkia's dreams hey palkia you too what are you doing in my dreams no no i remember we battled so why am i dreaming Wait, how do you know you're dreaming? Whatever. You've been enveloped by Nightmare Palkia. What? What did you say? I'm in a nightmare? Yeah, there's an obvious effect to wear here. It is obviously isn't a good dream. What? This proves it. You both should not exist. Uh, Palkia. Well, wait a second. We wanted to ask you something. Palkia, why are you trying to get rid of us? You dare pretend that you don't know? You are distorting space with a reckless abandon. If the distortion spreads, the power of darkness will grow. The world will be drowned in this nightmare of darkness. To prevent it, you must be wiped from existence. Uh, but there must be... There must be some other way. You govern space and dimension, don't you, Palkia? Can't you correct the distortion of space yourself? It's true that I can bend space to my will, but... For the rest of time ever, I have been able to control a part of space. Or still, the distortion of space is amplifying. This is all you're doing. There is no, there is now but one way to save the world, and that is for you to be erased from this world forever. Yeah. Palkia is saying the same thing Cresselia said. Oh, Walter, Cresselia was telling us the truth after all. Maybe they're trying. Maybe they're right about us. Maybe we have to disappear. Go whip. I feel sorry for you, but this time must be done to preserve peace. Please understand. Wow, all of a sudden he seems like a nice guy and he doesn't want to do this. Before, he seemed like, no, I'm a big bad Pokemon, and I'm going to kick your ass. Now he's like, oh, well, I don't want to do this, but I have to. What's with the sudden change of heart, Palkia? You, you got to stick with the character. You got to stay in the zone, man. But Palkia... Hey, here you are. I've got, I found you at last. What? Huh? You're Cresselia. Spreading darkness and ghosts even this place. You must be eliminated as soon as possible. What? Before we finally pass the point of no return. What? Oh, Erk Walter. We refused to give up. We did what we could. After everything we did, was it all for nothing? Was all of our effort a waste? So are you ready for an end? Uh, Cresselia, one moment. Tell us one last thing. If we disappear, would a world really truly be saved? Yes, it would absolutely will. The world would be saved beyond a da shadow of a doubt. Are you finally satisfied? Yeah. If we must. If we really must disappear. If that will save the world. After so much, Corvus' will is starting to sway. And... So is mine, but this is truly an absolutely the correct course of action. Wait, Cresselia! Blinded by fury, I attacked them earlier, but upon seeing them now, they do not seem to be driven by malice or wickedness. In my dreams, Cresselia, you insisted that they were bad, but are they truly bad? Could Cresselia said that about us? In Palkia's dreams? Don't be fooled by the appearances, Palkia. If we were to get rid of them now, Otto will be saved. So just like we did, Palkia met Cresselia in his dreams. But now Palkia is growing suspicious. Something is very wrong here. All this must be based on Cresselia's claims. Enough, I will be rid of you now. Go, Web. Don't abandon hope. Now to take this. Yes, that's exactly it. Never abandon hope. What? There's a second Cresselia? 
Oh. Whoa, what is this? Who is this? Excellent, I was just in time. Blast you, Cresselia. I've been foiled just as I was about to dispose of this metalism once and for all. Please listen, Walter, kill with and Pogia. You've been missled by you've been missled mis mis oh misled. All this time. My duck right here. What? what? The chrysalis that you thought you knew until now was not me. That false chrysalis was nothing more than an illusion made by Dakrai. It was merely a mockery of me. What? What? The chrysalis we knew up till now was just a fake? Dakrai? Oh, Dakrai! Using an illusionary difficulty of me to deceive others is so typical of you, but you usually never bring your actual self out of hiding. You normally operate under the cover of darkness. But you'd personally emerge from the shadows to dispose of these two. That is so very unlike you. You two behind Crystalia. What, what us? Correct. Pay close attention. Now, the one truly responsible for exploding the space distortion, for shrouding the world in a nightmare, it is my doing. Mine alone. What? What do you say? You and me are welcome to try and stop me. Come to me and Dark Crater. You're not getting away, Darkrai. Or he can. D D Darkrai vanished. You cannot catch me, Chrysalia. Not ever. You too. I shall be waiting for you. Dark Crater? Meryl! Azuril, that's great. You woke up from your nightmare. You can look a little happy. You just got rescued from a nightmare and you're still freaking crying. You did it, Miss Cresselia. Thank you so much. And Mr. Drowsy, too. Oh, me? Thank you very much, Mr. Drowsy. Mr. Drowsy, I have to thank you, too. You stayed up to take care of Azuril this whole time. Thank you so very much. Uh, well, shucks, Sicily. Hey, I stay shucks, too. Aw. Am I drowsy? Crap. Well, shucks, this is the least I can do, man. Listen, Cresselia, what happened to Palkia? Palkia is immersed within the spatial rift. Spatial rift, that's what it was. Not like space, we, we don't mean. But he attempted to take care of the distortion of space. As the, be as the being that governs space itself, he's taking his pride on success. Given that duty, I would not expect him to manifest here again. Well done, how remarkable. It's truly quite marvelous. Marvelous indeed, Cresselia. We heard of your power to dispel darkness, but only in rumor. But it was all true. I must say, it's completely marvelous. I understand. You used your power when we were in Palkia's nightmare. That's how you pulled Palkia and us out of the nightmare. Indeed. I do have the power to dispel darkness. It, it lets me dispel nightmares and awaken those in the deepest sleep. Dr. I stands as an opposite to my being. He has the power to enshroud those who sleep in nightmare. Go with and Walter, do you recall when you met my imposter? The imposter that says it's the first, the imposter that is to say the first Crusader you met. Those encounters were always within dreams, weren't they? Uh, that's, that's true. It's true. The first time I was in a dream, and later on, come to think of it. I cannot fathom how you've come here, but I find your visit ever so convenient. As long as I've, I've longed to meet both of you. The last time I wasn't dreaming, so I guess it never occurred to me. But I realized that we were in Azuril's nightmare. In other words, it was still a dream. Then the next time we met, it was in Palkia's nightmare. And that's the first Kusaya. We encountered her only in night in dreams. Dakurai has the power to create realistic illusions. What Dakurai was doing was using his illusions to make you think he was seeing me. Then it was all just an elaborate ruse to get at you, Walter and Cool Whip. So that your whole existence could be eliminated. What? What? Golly. To eliminate Walter and Co-Whip from this world? And eliminate those two? Well, it's shocking that you wanted to get rid of you, brother. But why would Dr. Ray plot something so complicated, man? Why go through all the trouble using a Cresselia imposter? Wouldn't it be faster to confront them directly in battle? I would guess. That is all out of fear for Co-Whip and Walter. Dr. Ray was afraid? Of me and Walter? Yes, because Walter and Kodowip saved the world once before. That was then when he prevented a collapse of Tedro Tower. But those who really 
But who was really the one to put the ruin the Temporal Tower in motion? Who was it that really sought the planet in paralysis? There's no other than Darkrai. What? D D Darkrai was behind the crisis at Temporal Tower? Darkrai intended to enshrine the world in darkness. Darkrai failed to do that with the destruction of Temporal Tower. After that failure, he turned into his, his attention to the distortion of space itself. If the distortion of space were to grow, Darkrai's power to create nightmares would also grow. What he sought to do was envelop all Pokemon in a nightmare. It was all Darkrai's doing. He was making the distortion of space expand. Darkrai was doing that? Isn't the space distortion expanding because of our existence? It is true that your existence is causing space distortion, but the distortion you cause is extremely small. Furthermore, your distortion of space won't expand on its own. But then... Yes, the expanding distortion of space has nothing to do with you. It is blamed on you, however, so that you can be eliminated. It is all part of Dr. Ray's elaborate deception. Oh, Walter. I, I... I'm so glad we're not... beings that must not exist. It's okay for us to live in this world. We're not unwanted. Cool whip. Y'all, I don't know what you two went through, but... That's just not possible. For either of you are cool whipped to be unwanted in this world. You fetch me perfect apples after all. That would make me sad. I think everyone at the guild would be sad too. That makes us happy that you're with us. That reason's enough. To keep you existing. W wiggly tough. More than that, that's just not cool whip and Walter. Everyone here. All the Pokemon in the world. Not one of their lives is without meaning. So when you think that you're not wanted ever again, stay full of cheer. Alright. Thank you, Wigglytuff. That's actually a good metaphor for life. If you ever feel like you're unloved, just remember, there's there's a reason for you to be here. Or something like that. I don't know. Figure it out. Hey, hey, but talk about the dirty and dishonest. That darker is a piece of work. He never comes out in the open. He does his nefarious work from the shadows. If you confront him, he'll always flee. That is how Darkrai has always done things. But Darkrai is doing something so unlike him right now. He's invited Koep and Walter to confront him. It's true. Darkrai left those parting words. You're more than welcome to come try to stop me. Come to me in the Dark Crater. Get it too. I shall be waiting for you in the Dark Crater. Oh, wait, no, that's Darkrai's voice. Sorry, I saw Chris again. Just, I'll be waiting for you in the Dark Crater. Dark Crater? Darkrai told us to go to the Dark Crater, and that means he's been waiting for us. Cresselia, you believe that he demanded Koa and Walter to come to him for a reason, don't you? Do you believe it's a trap? Yes, it's a trap without a doubt. It doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. If we stop Darkrai, he'll s if, if we don't stop Darkrai, he'll smother the whole world with darkness. We have to do something. It's going. We're going to the Dark Crater. Okay, I respect your decision. I don't accompany you. Ooh, I have long been aware of Dr. Rice's scheme. I have pursued him a long time to thwart his plans, but every time I caught up to him, he would elude me. This time, he is waiting for us. I'd like to settle this once and for all. I'll go too. I'll meet her. Yo, yup, yup, I'll go. I'm delighted for everyone's offer to help. I'm afraid that Dr. Rice would be scared off if there's too many of us. This is the right chance to corner Dr. Rice and stop his nefarious scheme. Please be content with just the three of us going. Aww. Aww. That's too- Oh, I didn't even know Badoop was going to say that. But I'd love to say- I'd have to say that you're alright. Don't worry, everyone. We'll be sure to defeat Darkrai and come back. Yes, you do that. If anyone can, it's you. No, you take care. Everyone, thank you. Let's go, Walter. Let's go to the Dark Crater, where Darkrai awaits us. I'm excited. Or we could go here instead. To the northeast of here, there's a land of volcanic terrain. That dark crater, that's where Dark Crater is located. Please tell me when you're ready to leave. I will guide you to the Dark Crater. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go do towny stuff, and then we'll head to the Dark Crater, which I believe is the final dungeon in the game. Oh. Huh? What? It's a cute- wait, so we just got a new IQ skill. Awesome, what did, what did we just get? I want to see. Team, go with IQ, EXP something. EXP Elite, what is this? The Pokemon earns extra experience points. Ooh, I approve of this. Alright, here we go. Time to head to Dark Crater. 
Are you ready to go to the dark crater? Very well. Let us be on our way. Off we go to the dark crater. Jeez, this place seems kind of ominous. So this is the entrance to the dark crater. Here we face dark Rai. This is no telling what he has in store for us. We must proceed with utmost care. Right. Dark crater, basement first floor. Oh! Well, this is going to be an easy dungeon. I am before three floors later. I am in tears because this dungeon is obviously going to make my life hell. Oh, Flareon, okay. Can't believe we're almost at the end of Explorers. Wow, I can't believe I, made I took the right path. We're almost at the end of Explorers of Sky. I know once we finish like the post game, there will be one bonus video where we go and evolve our Pokemon and do anything else that may be left over. So even like once we defeat Darkrai, assume I'm assuming Darkrai is oh you're doing a lot of damage. I'm assuming Darkrai is like the big boss of the post game. Like he's the Dialga of the post game basically. So once we beat him and then we do this, then we do that bonus video and then we do the Girl Vile special episode, which is gonna be like the finale finale. Explores the sky will be over, and I still have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Actually, I have a, I have a somewhat of an idea. I was like browsing uh, ROM hacks the other day, trying to think of something I want to do Pokemon wise, like once it ends, because I'm already like 90% sure what I'm doing after Kingdom Hearts, but I still also want to have a Pokemon presence on my channel. And I for a while I've been kind of having the idea of like maybe doing um, just like a daily showdown series where I really like random battles. Okay, I. For the most part, I'm not a big fan of Showdown, but I really enjoy- What? Really? That's so stupid! Wow! Alright, whatever. Stupid game. Whoa! Okay, well, this is weird. I don't want to kill him. He's my- fr he's me! I don't want to kill you. You're gonna be my friend, right? No! Other Walter! Aww! Okay, so, oh, I don't want to, oh, poor baby Walter. I feel so bad now whenever I see another Cyndaquil, because, uh, Cresselia seems to have a really, uh, no? Oh, <gasps> I can walk on lava! Oh, it's about freaking time that I get the ability where I can, can walk over something. Okay, if we were a water type, we would have been able to walk over something this entire time. That's really annoying. But what I was going to say is, Cresselia, I've noticed, has, like, a really weird moveset. Uh, I can't even view Cresselia's moveset, but I've seen it use Slash, of all things. How did it get Did I seriously do this again? No, okay, I don't want to walk on the lava now, but I've seen it use- Hey! Hey! Get your butt back here! Hey! Hey! I didn't abandon you guys! Turn your butt around! Excuse me! Hello? You better stay in that room, Cool Whip! Cool Whip! No! Hey! Don't go different directions! I didn't approve of this! Cool Whip! <laughs> guys, what the heck? No! Cresselia, you better not die. I trust Cresselia to stay alive. <gasps> oh, flamethrower. Okay, well, flamethrower's move I'm using the least right now. If it was Dig, that would have got... Okay, whatever. You know what? Screw you guys. I'll just use the stairs and warp you to me if you're going to be difficult like that, alright? <gasps> I thought this was a monster house at first. I was terrified of it. I was like, no, not a monster house. It's the worst thing that could happen. Growl. That's mean. Oh, that's right. I'm out of flamethrower PP. Uh... Coop, I'm trusting you that you can kill that thing, right? Right? Or you can miss your attacks. That's not good. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. And you go after- Okay, you have so many Pokemon attacking you right now. Oh, Coop's dead. Coop's dead. Coop's dead. Coop's dead. dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. That's good. That's- Oh my god, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. No, you're not dead. Don't you dare attack that Combuskin. Don't you dare attack that Combuskin. Please don't. You- Ah, uh, it's only when I'm recording that I have issues. Okay, so anyways, back to what I was trying to talk about before. Like, Cresselia took a deep breath. Uh, okay, what the heck does that mean? What are your moves? I know you have Double Team Slash, Confusion, and Aurora Beam. All completely weird moves to have, by the way. So, what in the world could you be taking a deep breath for? <gasps> ah! He's choking me, right? So to probably no surprise, this dungeon is just a tad bit hard. Why do you keep taking a deep breath? This is really confusing. Wait. Is your ability- Are you, like, taking a deep breath so you don't, like- <gasps> Almost dead. Oh, you'll flash fire. Oh, that's not good. No, 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 no. Please, no. 
I have dig. Okay, there's a max elixir there. I could use dig, and it'll be fine. There's a torchic. I'm not afraid of torchic, thankfully. Max elixir. Please give me the max elixir. <gasps> get the get away from me. Get away from me, Monferno. I just no. I don't care. Cool. Yes, you're leveling up. That's fantastic. I need the max elixir. Please stop leveling up. I just need to stick like one step over. Ah. Should I use it? Yeah, I should probably use it. I'm I'm gonna be smart and I'm gonna use it. Okay, max elixir ingest, Walter. So, anyways, probably no surprise. This dungeon is a bit hard. I it's the, probably the last dungeon in the game. Wait, I know there's more after this. There's like more post game, but this is the last like the story, for the most part, except for like what I'm gonna be doing in the bonus videos. Um, but you know, afterwards you just like basically chin up all your Pokemon to like level 99. I don't know if the max is 99 or 100 in this game actually but you just train them all up to that you go to like the um i'm a hungry seriously you go to the wonder male dungeons and like recruit legendaries and stuff like that but there's no real story as far as i know once you complete this and like the one little section that i'm aware of after after uh the post game i wish i wasn't aware of it well i don't know on one hand i wish i wasn't aware of it because it kind of took away the surprise but at the same time I'm glad I'm aware of it so that I can show it. So, I don't know. I feel really conflicted about that. Like, I kind of wish that part wasn't spoiled for me, but I'm glad it was spoiled for me. Does that make sense? Do I sound like really hippie? Oh my god, please tell me I have some kind of food item. Ah, oh, this is how many times I've died. Let's eat a blue gummy. I actually, I don't think that does anything under your belly. Well, that's fantastic. I wish I had a reviver seed because then I could die and that would solve that problem. And I highly doubt we're finding any apples in here. It'd be wonderful if we could find an apple in here. That would make me feel really happy. I don't think an apple would survive in... Hello? Oh! Hello! I missed you! Please don't do that again. That was scary. I thought it teleported away at first. I wasn't paying attention to the dialogue. I was like, wait a minute. Rapidash can't learn teleport. Something seems a little off there. Let's just use Flamethrower because you're not going to kill me. Although I'm pretty sure... Was it a Combuskin or a Monferno that killed me last time I was trying to use Flamethrower? I was trying to be cocky like, why do you keep taking deep breaths? You're making me really paranoid when you do that and I can't look at you, which is making me even more paranoid. Stop using Bounce. <gasps> Stop using Bounce! No! Okay, so let's actually try to finish this topic. I was... Why do you keep taking deep breaths? This is making me paranoid so much. I know someone's going to answer. Probably multiple people are going to answer in the comments. And then I'll finally know. But you guys can realize I don't know right now. And I, did that... I may not have been paying attention. But I'm pretty sure that orb just fell from the ceiling. Which, that's really weird. Anyways, the idea that I've had I've been thinking about is just like doing a uh, showdown series of just... You have flash fire. Of course you have flash fire. Why would... Oh, you also have runaway too. My belly's empty. My belly's empty. Uh, please. Oh, I have apples. Yeah, by the way, it turns out last time I died, or last, my last life, I didn't realize I was on page three. I thought that was my entire bag. <laughs> and it turns out I had like four pages full of things. I lost a lot of them, unfortunately. But I have apples. Yay. Actually, I don't know how many pages I had last time. I wasn't paying attention. But I assume I had... Quite a few because I mean you lose things when you die. So wait, where have we not gone? Oh, we haven't gone all the way up there. All right, but I don't know if I'm not gonna do that because I like doing showdown random battles. I think they're very fun, but at the same time, I I don't think this is very fun to be honest. Um, all right, let's see. Do we have anything that we use? Sandy orb causes a sandstorm. That would not be useful. Locates items. No. Noxifo flying. No. I don't know. Oh, okay, that just uses it on one enemy. That's not nearly as useful as I thought it would be. I thought it'd blow everybody back. That The orb the orb deceived me. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to win this battle right now. You just wait and see. Oh my god, did you just use mirror move? Please don't tell me you used mirror move. You used mirror move, you... <sighs> Why? Why did I use mirror move? That's such a cheap move. Mirror move doesn't work like that in the normal games, does it? I almost positive it doesn't. So, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that showdown thing or not. It was really just an idea that I had. Oh, it's my evolve form. I don't want to kill you either. You're just as adorable as the little Snickle. I actually prefer Kuava. Will you die? Will you please die? Will you please die? Okay, I just went on you because you don't want to die. That was scary. Holy crap. I got cocky and I thought, okay, I could kill him with just my basic attack. Because he's, he's just a little weakling, apparently. Oh my god, you. I know you. You're going to use mirror move. 
you're gonna use mirror move, and you're gonna make my life absolutely hell. I'm not waiting around for you to use mirror move. I am gonna be smart. Okay, you're not using. Oh, you didn't die. You didn't die. You didn't die. Oh crap! Oh crap! Flamethrower! 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 Everything is so much more HP than I assume. Like I think the middle evolutions are gonna die like just as easy as the earlier ones. You fury swipes? No. Fury swipes? Are you freaking kidding me right now? But, okay, let's hope this time I can actually finish the sentence without the game deciding that I don't just, like, deserve to live anymore. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that, because, you know, I tried, uh, I played Pokemon with a friend of mine occasionally, and we tried playing Pokemon Regional Adventures today, and I've just been, I've noticed, like, the main series Pokemon games, I just feel, like, really burnt out on those games, and I just didn't really want to play it. Uh, just, I don't know. The Mystery Dungeon games are really fun. I'm enjoying the Mystery Dungeon games a lot because it's like a completely different. It's Pokemon, but it's not Pokemon, you know? It's a change, and I love the Pokemon games. I will never stop loving the Pokemon games. Earth Power, you stupid. Don't use Earth Power. Stop using Earth Power! This is what... I... <laughs> of course I die on the final four right before a break. Why wouldn't I die on the final four right before the rest stop? Why not? I don't... <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. That's going to do it for us today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to show your... I'm so, like, pissed off at this dungeon right now. This is... I get the fact this is the final dungeon. They got to make it, like, extra tough and make you hate yourself. But Earth Power, Mirror Move, which is the... Does Mirror Move only work on special moves, or does that work on anything? No, it works on Razor Wave, so it does work on anything. Mirror Move, which is absolutely bullshit. Fury Swipes. Oh my god, and Baby Cyndaquils. Why? Why are Baby Cyndaquils of all things? But, oh my god, this is going to be a nightmare to get through, probably. And I swear, if we have a hard time with the boss fight and we have to keep going through through the dungeon, I'm probably going to cry a lot. But that is going to do it for us today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to show your support by clicking the like button down below. Until next time, I'm Hardy Tech. Yo, yo!